Have you ever noticed in a motorcycle club, outlaw motorcycle club, or any kind of circle, you have people that will go harder, pause, on their brother in their own club than they will on a rival club member. I've experienced this in the gang world when I was Crip. I've experienced this in the outlaw motorcycle club world, regular motorcycle club world. Today, we're gonna talk about the people that go against their brother 10 times harder pause than they will against a rival club. They'll get spanked by a rival club, do nothing to them, retaliate in no form of fashion, but their brother, he has to get it. Let's get into it. Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle and motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. Today, we're going to talk about the people in motorcycle clubs or any kind of circle that will go against their brother like he is the worst enemy they ever met. But when it comes to a rival, a rival motorcycle club or any kind of rival, they have no smoke for them. And I'm gonna tell you a personal experience of my own. I'm gonna tell you a couple of personal experiences, but I'm gonna tell you about when I was younger and I was Crip. For those that don't know, I was Crip for 12 years. Like I really lived the lifestyle. I didn't wear red literally for 12 years. I didn't wear green for 12 years because I was Grave Street at the time and I was just purple, blue, I stuck to the code. I wouldn't even shake your hand if you were wearing red, if you were one of my own. Like I went that far. I got delusional with it. I went crazy. I was younger and I had completely lost my mind. But there was a situation that went down where I went through a home invasion. Now I kid you not, the people that I was around had no smoke at all for the blood. Yo, I'm telling you, there were situations where the bloods would stab a homie, do something really foul. And they're like, oh, I don't know. What do we do? What should we do? And I was always the one like, what do we do? We go to their block and we get back at them. That's just ABC one, two, three to me. But these dudes always had an excuse why they couldn't do something to that side. But when it came to their own brothers, when it came to their own people on their own side, they did the foulest stuff. So in my situation, and this is how you know I'm one of the realest because a lot of people don't talk about their downfalls when they took the L. But in my situation, my cousin was doing a lot of talking bad about another set within our circle. We were all separated into sets. So whatever was going on with them, there was a back and forth and they were upset about it. I was like a mediator always telling them, listen, that's him. And they kind of felt like I was sicking him at them because I had status. So they kind of felt like control your situation, which is right. But my cousin didn't care about my personal political situation. He would just get mad, jump off the deep end and basically put me in a bad situation. So he comes all the way from Hartford where he lives to come down to the Bronx to stay with me for some time. So he's staying with me. I'm telling you, this dude caused so much drama. He literally robbed my pizza man. And I was really upset because this was food that I enjoyed and a dude that I really became cool with. So I called him one day to order some food and they're like, oh, we don't do deliveries anymore. And I'm like, why? And then they're like, oh, because our delivery man got robbed. And I'm like, who would do that to him? He's like the coolest dude in the world. And they're like, we don't know and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, just let me know. Cause at that time, my hand reached far. So if he had a problem, I could have helped him with it. Turns out my cousin's talking to me one day. He's in the house with his feet on my freaking couch. And he tells me, yeah, yo, I just robbed this dude, whatever. So I'm like, I don't think nothing of it. We keep having a conversation. Turns out he robbed the dude. He's the reason why I can't get my food no more. So I had a whole thing. I let him know, listen, don't ever touch that dude again. So I called them back. I let them know, listen, I found out who it was. You won't have this problem anymore. So they started to like risk it and deliver again. And they never had the problem anymore because I told them, but he caused all this problem. So when he's down here, he lends a strap to somebody in the other set that he's been talking bad about lately, but he was cool with this one. So 
the dude that he lent the strap to decided not to give it to him back so we went to his house to see what was going on we weren't going to do anything to him or anything but he felt like we were going there to do something to him so what did they do in turn i had to deal with a home invasion i had a push in where i had a gun in my face all for something that had nothing to do with me at all it was my cousin's bf let me tell you something if you've ever been involved with a home invasion it is the worst thing that could happen to you i'm telling you i've been shot before and i felt like i was superman after that but an unexpected home invasion like that like you would never think that that would happen at your home you would think you know if you see them outside in the street somewhere whatever would happen but why would they hate me so much that they would go to the house so by the grace of god i got out of that situation i had a gun in my face everything but these dudes that did that would get beat up by the bloods not do anything they would i know a brother that got stabbed by the bloods they never returned any fire did anything to them but they're coming to my house home invasion with a gun in my face because of something that my cousin did you know what i mean and that became a whole long-term thing where i decided to step away from the whole world because i couldn't trust anybody but this is the life that comes with that street life that's just how it is for my young people watching this that is how it ends up and then let's fast forward into the outlaw world you got brothers i have seen literally have got stomped to the ground by another rival club patches taken hung up upside down in the clubhouse and what are they doing they are beating up their brother in the clubhouse for some political nonsense it's not even nothing that is major like i can't even think of the situations where it even makes sense to put your hands on your own brother but i see this happen all the time let me know in the comments if you're familiar with situations like this where a brother will act on their own brother like it's like they're the biggest enemy in the world and i know brothers that view their own brothers in the club as their biggest enemy not the rival club that actually has put hands and feet on brothers of yours in other states or whatever it's your own brother your little political shuffle is more important than the actual enemy and i'm telling you these dudes will do it and then the next day be at a party and and be all stiffened up acting like they're tough and then they see a rival club they got no words for them they're all quiet you know like i've seen it myself and then it's like you get back and then you you're ready to put hands on your brother it's like why why don't you put hands on them do you agree with me let me know if you think i'm bugging but i honestly never understood that and i've never been a proponent of doing something to your own brother i'd rather put it out on some other team than my own brother i'd rather let him slide for some bullshit than do it to my own brother i've been in situations where a brother will sit at the table and they'll literally tell him well you don't come to meetings that much so they disrespected your wife but yeah you got to handle that yourself how is that a brother why would a brother tell you that I've literally seen brothers get treated the worst because they didn't have dues for a couple of months. And then meanwhile, you got people like, here, I'll throw this in to help the club. Why don't you throw that bread and help your brother out? If you're so-called such a good brother, why don't you help your brother out with that bread? You know what I mean? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. That has always aggravated me how somebody can move on their own brother faster than a rival and get your Gosavelli motorcycle riding mask now. They're on www demonsroad.com i got another video where i sit down with junior of the mongols mc it'll be linked above thank you for tuning in the demons road tv the holy grail of mc culture like subscribe and comment no yeah we ghosting baby